flattering light. I have some succulents that I need to repot because some of them are kind of like falling over. The soil has got really low. Yeah, let's let's go and do that. This one looks a bit sad. It's like all floppy. It's a bit top heavy. <laughs> the other ones are good though. This one grew from just this leaf and I planted that last year and I think it's been growing roots and then this season it's got all of these little ones come up so that's so exciting. And um, all of these I got from a friend who has a an Etsy shop with lots of succulents and I'll put a link on the screen and in the description um, and so she she sells like the little plants um, but she also just sells cuttings and all of these they were pretty much just like tiny cuttings and it's so exciting or all of these these three and it's so exciting to have them grow into proper plants it's so exciting Oh yeah, and um, these plant pots, they are old beer cans that I kind of upcycled, is that the right word? I just cut off the tops of them and put washi tape on so that the edges aren't sharp. Um, and then I put my plants in them. <laughs> Here now. It is hot today. In the UK you don't get any chance to get used to the weather so like two days ago it was 20 degrees and tomorrow it's going to be 20 degrees but today we get 35 so anyway I have thought ahead and did this earlier. Ta-da! A bottle of wine. This bottle of wine is from the wine membership that Andrew and I have. Well it's not actually a wine membership. No, it is, kind of. It's, you pay and they send you on. That's how it works. So good. I'm still in my workout clothes. I don't think I can be bothered to change. I'm having a bit of a weird day. I keep flip-flopping between feeling excited and motivated to do stuff and then like not feeling motivated to do anything at all. So I went skating. I feel good about that. I was out for nearly an hour uh, together with a friend. I was really scared that like trying to film myself that like the, the pressure of it would make me fall over but luckily I didn't 
I didn't fall over. I also I ordered some sticker paper. I seem to have a weird block about this, like a self-sabotage thing. It's not just about this, it's about lots of things where I feel like I'm not, like other people can do stuff, but I can't. And I don't mean in terms of skill, I mean in terms of like being allowed to. And I know that there's, you know, there's no greater authority who allows or disallows, uh, at least not in terms of sticker making, because that's not against the law. But yeah, I kind of feel like, you know, oh, here's another person wanting to sell stickers. Everybody and their grandma they were already sell stickers. But see, this is my judgment about myself, but I don't actually have that judgment about other people. Like, when other people sell stickers, I'm like, oh my god, I want to buy them. <laughs> it's a weird kind of self-denial, self-sabotage thing. But in any case, I ordered sticker paper, so I'm going to... I have some ideas of... A while back, I painted some some like quirky faces uh, and uh, I made postcards out of them and I sent them all the way to my friends so I no longer have them but I wanted to make some more of the similar style and uh, make them into stickers because I think that would be really cool. I, I would actually I would love to make them into washi tape but I feel like that's a that's a plan for much further down the line. I think for the first in the first instance I'm gonna try stickers because I know I can do that myself at home with my printer and I've ordered some paper that's got some good reviews on Amazon so I'm gonna try that out and see how I get on and I shall obviously share my experimentation with you. <laughs> That still doesn't solve what I'm going to do right now. I made this yesterday. Did some journaling for myself. This isn't quite done yet. I was inspired by myself, actually, which is, I think, that's a, that's a tip that I would give you, like, to be inspired by your own work. This is something that I painted about two years ago, and I still love this, and I still feel like it's very representative of my style, even though my style these days, or what I paint these days, looks very different, but I thought that was interesting. So it's kind of like emulating my own, emulating my own style. Interesting. Oh hi! Guess who still has roadworks outside? It's driving me nuts. I just thought I would do a quick bit of vlogging before I have therapy. So I got a couple of things in the mail. Exciting! First of all, I ordered some stickers from Roxanne Coble by Bun. Um, she is a huge inspiration of mine in terms of this whole vlogging thing. Um, I love her videos and I also really admire her as an artist. I love her art. Um, my camera is really precariously balanced so I hope it stays there. Um, oh look at this! Little cactus washi tape. This is just really nicely packaged. I um, subscribe to Roxanne on Patreon, like I'm a supporter on Patreon of hers, and so I know how much kind of like time and effort and care goes into all the stuff that she does, um, and it's very exciting to get something. Oh, cool, it comes with extra things, like little extra cards. Her art style is really cool. I really just feel always super inspired. Oh, here are the stickers. Oh, they're a tiny bit smaller than I expected, but they are really nice. Awesome. I'm so happy with them. I am going to be using them to decorate my bullet journal. Actually, that makes me think of something. It reminds me of like how important I think it is for artists to support artists, and especially when you first get started. And I've heard loads of painful stories about this, and I experienced it myself as well, where you get started with your art and like people go like, oh, don't give up your day job. You know, they will give you advice and it's usually like close family and friends who give kind of well-meaning but very tone-deaf advice. And they're very, very painful, especially when you just get started and you haven't found your groove or your style yet where you can kind of go like, yeah, I don't care what people think because I know what I'm doing is the right thing. You know, you're very kind of like just out of the cocoon and very sensitive at that point by support, you know, supporting artists and finding a group of artists to support you you know that's that's where you're going to get the encouragement and the recognition and the validation that you might not get in your kind of like closer circle artists supporting artists i think is, is a really important thing and i think it's also really important to just seek that out you know surround yourself with artists because they're the ones who are going to be cheering you on they're the ones who are going to be recognizing your hard work and your efforts i also ordered some stuff off Amazon. Right, so 
first of all, let me show you this, which is, uh, that's the sticker paper I was talking about. Matte vinyl, interesting. Looks a bit more homemade than the professional packaging that was on the, um, on the, on the picture. I look forward to trying this out. And then I also got uh, this, um, which is a matte screen protector for the iPad. I did loads of research, reading reviews and stuff online. All screen protectors, matte ones, the ones that like feel like paper for drawing and stuff, all of them have some bad reviews. So it was very difficult to make a decision. This one seemed to have the best reviews. This is called Belmond. All the reviews basically say like, oh, this wears out the tip of the Apple Pencil really quickly. And then I thought, well, it's matte. It's like more textured. That's probably just going to be a thing that happens when you put a matte screen protector on your iPad. I ignored the reviews that said that and then looked for products that had good reviews for everything else. This one came out on top, so I look forward to trying that. I will report back once I know <laughs> what it's like. <laughs> Just a super quick check-in. The sticker paper was super disappointing. I have sent it back. It, I I kind of feel like it was... Um, uh, it wasn't what was in the description. It looked completely different. It was flimsy. It curled as soon as I took it out of the packet. It like got skewed in the printer. It wasn't vinyl. It was just paper. It was like really thin absolutely not something that I would ever dream of selling. So yeah, sent it back, wrote a critical one-star review, like that was just really disappointing and not good enough. I'm gonna try again with something else, gonna just do some more research. And right now I am uh, just got set up with my laptop over there and my phone over there um, to do a recording for a online retreat that I have been invited to be part of so that's going to be exciting I get to talk about my process and like my approach to it's like it's about healing and art so it's going to be about my approach to art in terms of like how it helps me with uh, kind of well-being and healing and that kind of thing. You know, the way that I use art is definitely for well-being, for mental health, that kind of thing. So um, that fits really well with what I'm kind of about and how I do things. So I'm excited about that and I'll, you know, tell you more about it at some point when that's a bit further along the lines or whatever. Wish me luck! Oh yes, I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> diary. It's day 300 of roadworks outside. It's actually day 10, but like, to end, like they've just literally just stopped for five minutes, but it's just noise all day. That recording session yesterday went quite well, although I was pretty nervous actually. Oh, there they're starting again. I was pretty nervous, but I do think it went well. And I have another session later today. I'm really just hoping that they're not going to be doing this when I'm recording. Or well, I'm not recording, the other pe the person I'm speaking to is recording. But it's just, yeah, it's a bit stressful. And also then last night the internet didn't work up here, like the Wi-Fi just completely didn't work. Andrew ran a ethernet cable from outside the window down to the office. I think I'm going to leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. I can't believe that I have done this a third time, that I'm still going. <laughs> I think I, I'm i still getting used to like the length and the content of these vlogs and what works and all that kind of stuff. And all of the vlogs actually, they're not very art heavy. And I think it's partly because I'm not actually a full-time artist. I have obviously, a, I have another job and I have the kids at home as well. So it's kind of like my life balance is it's quite balanced at the moment and I'm, I'm putting that all in the vlog. You know, I'd be curious to know what 
you know, what, what you're here for. Are you here for like the full life experience of Iris or are you more interested in the art segments? Um, are you more interested in the kind of like art philosophy, life philosophy sections? I don't know. Just let me know. Thank you so much for watching. I shall see you in the next one. Bye. Excuse all the laundry in the background. I will put that away in a nice little time lapse for you at some point. Yeah.